Hello cave dwellers, today I'm reviewing a product with the catchy title, are you ready for it? Geek Pi Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, one player arcade game console, DIY kit, HDMI output arcade, game machine kit with USB joystick control board, and arcade push buttons and joystick and arcade console acrylic box. Wow, <laughs> quite the mouthful. I think a better title for it would be Arcade Stick which houses a Raspberry Pi. In fact it's designed to be an all-in-one solution, an alternative to buying an arcade machine, building a bar top arcade yourself, or hacking an existing joystick to fit a Pi inside. It promises a lot and at $179.99 US dollars I should hope that it would deliver. Now the $179 price tag I want you to keep in mind throughout this review and let me know your thoughts on it as we progress in the comments section. The first thing you'll need is coffee because this doesn't come assembled despite the price tag. So let's see what components are included, roll our sleeves up and see if we can build this thing. Our contents include various cables, screws, nuts and bolts, an empty memory card box, a set of speakers, these are 8 ohm and 3 watts each. And then we do eventually find our memory card, in fact it's a micro SD card, 16 gig in size, and with a larger SD card adapter, I guess that's to plug into your computer and make it easier to configure, but the card already has a Linux distribution and RetroPie installed on it, ready to go. Next we have the case in itself, this is a piano black version, apparently a transparent version is also available, it's made of acrylic, it's around 8mm in thickness so fairly sturdy stuff. All of the screw, joystick and button holes are pre-drilled thankfully, and they're standard sizes so regular 30mm arcade buttons are used here, as well as a couple of 24mm buttons for the side of the case and they're all included with the package of course. Nothing to write home about with those buttons or stick, they're unbranded and, well, fairly unexciting but we'll talk about that more when they're installed. Something that did catch my attention though is this control board, it's the Geek Pi joystick. It connects to the Raspberry Pi via USB, translates the micro switched buttons into inputs the Pi can understand, as well as including a 3 watt amplifier to accept an audio signal and send it out to the speakers. And very interestingly, although not for this particular project, it includes 6 analog inputs as well, so it's quite a comprehensive control board really and I think it probably warrants a review in its own right. Let's try the instructions then. The Raspberry Pi Acrylic DIY Retro Game Arcade Kit bases on Raspberry Pi and Geek Pi, USB control board which is developed with audio adapter plate, plug and play, multi-plate cascade, and it also has <laughs> and it also has function keys to adjust the volume, the speed, and performance of the key data. Ugh, this is making my head hurt. It does at least have pictures and a list of the box's contents. All is present and correct in my box, including a Raspberry Pi. This is a complete solution, so for your money you also get the Pi, and it's a Model B, not a Module B, as described in the manual. Yes, this was the most satisfying part of unboxing this, peeling off the protective cover from the acrylic. And of course being piano black acrylic, the dust immediately stuck to it and my fingerprints are all over it already. Now I won't talk you through every part of the build process but you can watch the whole thing in an accelerated form here as I cut through the build. The joystick control board and the Raspberry Pi are mounted to the base of the unit. Nuts, screws and plastic risers are what we use here. Uh, washers don't appear to have made their way into the box in any form whatsoever. With the Pi mounted you can see the pre-cut hole in the bottom of the unit through which you can access the memory card, quite useful and wholly necessary as you'll find later when we complete the build. Next up it's the speakers. Now the design choice here really confuses me. It's great that they've included two speakers for stereo sound, so why mount them in exactly the same place and not allow for any stereo separation? And why on earth would you not include a speaker grill? It really is only a matter of time before those cones get pushed in by small or large fingers. More wisdom then from the manual. Connect the joystick and GeekPie USB joystick control board with the blue white wire cable on the up down left right port. 
Maybe there is a small tricky. When you latch the joystick to the right direction, you will need to choose the opposite positions. So maybe there is a small tricky. I think what that means is you're working upside down. So left is right, right is left, up is down, etc. When you plug it into the board. So uh, yeah, that's a small tricky if you uh, ever need a translation. The joystick is mounted using screws and the other side has this flush top which it screws into. That's for cosmetic reasons because it's visible on the top of the control panel, but it also means you can't grip the top like you can a nut, making it difficult to screw the joystick in firmly. There's quite a bit of play on this stick and I need to work out how to screw it in a bit tighter. So the stick's in and the buttons just pop in. And they can also just pop out when you try to wire them up. Very small tricky indeed. With everything in its place then it's time to connect up all the cables and slot everything together. While I do poke fun at the manual the GeekPie joystick board is well labelled and it's easy to identify where everything should plug in. Once aligned, the case then just slots together and five long screws go through the entirety of the case to secure it. Now granted, with five screws through it, it does feel very secure and it becomes a very solid little unit. But it also means you need to unscrew all five of those if you want to access the inside again. I was fully expecting some kind of telescopic hood style opening to get inside it as and when I needed to. No such luck I'm afraid and that's why the hole in the bottom to access the memory card is so important. Ok so the joystick is built, let's take it over to the workbench and plug it in, play some games and then I'll share my thoughts with you on the pros and cons of this little unit and whether or not it's worth your hard earned cash. So what do I think of it then? Well you've seen the parts that go into this and you know the price. Now in my opinion yes the sum of the parts do amount to a greater whole. That is to say when everything works together it creates a nice cohesive experience. But it's not $180 worth of experience. The products also available for $139 without the included Raspberry Pi. And the Pi really is the heart and soul of this system. So without the Pi you're paying then $139 for a second rate joystick. A second rate joystick that you have to build yourself. Just think about how many other options are available for that price. If it's the joystick you're interested in, then a high quality one with Sanwa based parts or a Hori fighting stick for example can be picked up for cheaper than that with a Raspberry Pi. If you're looking for the convenience of a portable control panel with everything in it, then a Pi Cade console or similar is half the price and it's already built. Prefabricated bar tops, full sized arcade machines, retro handheld consoles, even Nintendo's own mini classic series, they all come in at under the price of this system. And in light of the options and the competition, it's really hard to justify recommending this because nothing special stands out about it. It does what it says, but just why would you? And when you have to build it yourself, it can't even market itself as the convenient option. The saving grace to this review, however, is that Geek Pie control board and I think we'll revisit that sometime in the near future. As always if you've enjoyed this video please leave your comments below, give me a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down if you didn't enjoy it, subscribe to the channel and come back soon cave dwellers. Take care.